All right, let's talk earnest money deposit, AKA EMD. What does that really mean? Think of it as a good faith, right? As I'm writing a purchase contract for you to get your offer accepted, right? A couple things that you should know. Under the contract, there's a spot where you basically are saying, I wanna protect 3% uh, is the max a seller can come out after me if for some reason I default on the contract. Now listen, I've been doing this for 12 plus years. I haven't had a single buyer be put in that situation because of the communication and making sure everything's dialed in. But you wanna protect yourself to 3%. Now, what is the earnest money deposit? It's just that. It's a de deposit towards your down payment and closing costs. And it's a good faith telling the seller that I'm really interested in your property. Most of, most of the time, it's between one and 3% is what most buyers put in EMD on their contract. Now, there are ways to get your EMD back and there's different ways to make sure that happens. But at the end of the day, I wanna keep this very simple. It's an earnest money deposit. It's a good faith to the seller. And at the end of the day, that's exactly what I want you to think of.